Mr. McCoy here with today's edition of Literacy Corner. It features finding the theme of a literary text, and that literary text is The Bell of Atri. It's coming in just a moment, so stay tuned. As you immerse yourself in The Bell of Atri, be thinking about what the theme is. In other words, what is the message behind the story? Okay, here it comes. Atri is the name of a little town in Italy. A long time ago, the king of Atri had a large bell hung up in a tower in the marketplace. A rope that reached almost to the ground was fastened to the bell so that even the smallest child could ring the bell by pulling upon this rope. All the men, women, and children of Atri came down to the marketplace to look at the bell. It was a very pretty bell, and it was polished until it looked as bright and yellow as the sun. My people, said the king, do you see this beautiful bell? It is the bell of justice. If any of you is wronged at any time, you may come and ring the bell. Then the judges shall come together at once to hear your case and give you justice. Rich and poor, old and young, all alike may come, but you must not pull the rope unless you know you have been wronged. So, would this system work at Liberty Oaks? Share with your fellow listener. Many years passed and many times did the bell ring out to call the judges together. Many wrongs were righted and many ill-doers punished. At last, the rope, worn and broken, became so short that only a tall man could reach it. This will never do, said the judges one day. What if a child should be wronged? He or she could not reach the bell to ring it. They gave orders that a new rope should be put on the bell, but there was not a rope to be found in all of Atri. They would have to send across the mountains for one, and it would be many days before it would be brought. Let me fix it, said a man who stood by. He ran to his garden and soon came back with a long grapevine. He climbed up and fastened it to the bell. The slender vine, with its leaves and tendrils still upon it, trailed to the ground. The judges thought it was a very good rope. Now on the hillside above the village there lived a man who had once been a brave knight in his youth. He had fought in many a battle. His best friend had been his horse, a strong, noble steed that stood born and safe through danger. But the knight, when he grew older, cared no more to ride into battle and cared no more to do brave deeds. He thought of nothing but gold and became a miser. Day after day he sat among his bags of money and planned how he might get more, and day after day his horse stood in his bare stall, half starved and miserable. What is the use of that lazy steed? said the knight to himself one morning. It costs more to keep him than he is worth. I might sell him, but there is not a man who wants him. I will let him fend for himself. So the brave old horse was turned out to find what he could on the barren hillside. Weak and sick, he strolled along the dusty roads, glad to find a blade of grass or a thistle. One hot afternoon, the horse wandered into town. Not a person was there, for the heat had driven them all indoors. It wasn't long before the poor beast saw the grapevine that hung from the bell, the leaves and tendrils upon it still fresh and green. What a fine dinner they would be for the starving horse. He stretched his neck and took one of the tender morsels in his mouth, but it was hard to break free. It was hard to break free from the vine. He pulled at it, and the great bell began to ring. So what do you think's going to happen now? Share with your fellow listener. The judges put on their robes and went out through the hot streets to the marketplace where they saw the old horse nibbling at the vine. Ha, cried one, it is the knight steed. He has come to call for justice for his master, as everybody knows, has treated him shamefully. Meanwhile, a crowd had gathered, eager to learn what the cause the judges were about to try. When they saw the horse, everyone stood still in wonder. 
They were all ready to tell how they had seen him wandering the hills, uncared for and unfed. The judges ordered the knight to be brought before them, and when he came, they bade him stand and hear their judgment. This horse has served you well, they said. He has saved you from many a peril. He has helped you gain your wealth. Therefore, we order that half your gold shall be set aside to buy him shelter and food, a green pasture where he may graze, and a warm stall to comfort him in his old age. The knight hung his head and grieved to lose his gold, but the people shouted with joy, and the horse was led away to his new stall, and a dinner such as he had not had in many a day. Now's your chance. What is the theme of the Bell of Atri? This marks the end of today's edition of Literacy Corner. Another is coming soon. It true will be truly incredible.